right, Gina, thank you so much. Uh, if you are looking for a sweet way to maybe kick the week off, how about a candy shop unlike any other at the East Valley? Might do the trick, right? Javier Soto joins us from Sweeties of AZ for a look around. Good morning to you. Ooh, you're looking sweet. Good morning. You know what? I'm like a kid in a candy store for sure. Not to use that cliche, but this is Sweeties. We're right off of Alma School and Chandler, and this is the second largest candy store in the country. The gentleman who owns the first one, standing right next to me, owns this one as well. Tom Scheinman, thank you very much for having us out here. You're welcome. Like I said, a kid in a candy store, you get around all this candy, and you get hungry. And you like that gum, chewing gum in the morning, huh? This is probably the only place you're out, like, allowed to do that, right? Absolutely. Only time on air I can chew gum and do an interview. Mm -hmm. How'd you get into the candy business? Uh, just, like, uh, just like just about everybody, you start from the bottom and you go up. Uh, I started in 1970, brought in, uh, or, or uh, started um, working for a candy and tobacco wholesaler. I ended up buying a company in 1982 that was a very small little rebagging company in Cleveland, Ohio. Mm -hmm. uh, so myself and my wife have now owned the company for 28 years. We only have one location in Cleveland, which is the largest candy store in the country. It's 18,000 square foot. So I wanted to retire, semi-retire, and Chandler, Arizona seemed to be the place to be. So we bought a home out here about five years ago, and I decided uh, to uh, let my family, my uh, my son, my uh, daughter, and uh, their husband and wives to uh, run the store. Yeah, this so is definitely a family-owned business. All the family here. Now, you're being modest, but you are actually in the Candy Hall of Fame. We have a picture of that. If we could pull that picture up, explain how or what it takes to get into the Candy Hall of Fame. Well, um, there are usually 12 inductees um, every year, and uh, the, uh, um, it, it's, it's uh, done in Tampa, Florida. And uh, there are about 300 uh, people in the Candy Hall of Fame. Uh, and it's a traveling, it doesn't, it's, there's not like a real big building like we have in Cleveland with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, but it's, uh, it's just a great honor. It's an incredible honor. All right, let me talk to Mike Monzo really quickly. He runs the store. This is uh, Tom's son-in-law. Tell us about all the candy you have here. 75,000 pounds. Tell us the difference. Yeah. 75,000 pounds and counting. You can buy anywhere from one piece all the way up to 10,000 pounds if we got it. Uh, What's your favorite candy? Favorite candy right now is Zots. Zots. Imported Zots. from Italy. Yeah, what's great about most of this candy is you can't find it anywhere else. No, no, absolutely. That's what sets us apart. We deal uh, specifically with all the hard-to-find nostalgic candies and all the stuff that you can see from Hershey's, Mars, Nestle, your standard candy bars, all the way up from bulk candies. Gotta love it. So if you have a sweet tooth, this is the place to be. Sweeties here in Chandler. And Kaylee, you remember these? Pop oh rocks? my gosh, I had those over the weekend with my nephew. Yeah, they're so good. Now let's hear them. That's a great look. <laughs> Just keep going with that. Just keep going. And they're so good, aren't they? Yeah. Tropical Punch is really good too. It's yeah. the blue one. Really good. Thank you.